Order up orange steak ranchero con la salsa bien picante. Bueno, vámonos. Welcome to Orange Cafe and Grill, where I'm cooking up my favorite Mexican and Tex-Mex recipes from my old restaurant menu. In this video, I'm cooking up steak ranchero. Steak ranchero is basically any cut of beef cut up into strips or cubes and smothered in a fresh, hot, sautéed salsa. For this recipe, I'm searing a sirloin steak on my made-in 12-inch carbon steel frying pan, then cutting it into slices and adding it into the hot salsa, which has garlic, onions, tomatoes, and jalapenos. This is a great, quick, and easy-to-make meal that combines two of my favorite things, steak and salsa. And it's an awesome way to bring a cool variation to your own at-home menu. So let's get fired up and cook up a delicious steak ranchero at Arnie's Cafe and Grill. Vamonos! What we're gonna be using today is gonna to be one Roma tomato, one jalapeno pepper, two garlic cloves, a dash of cumin, a pinch of oregano, one cup of homemade tomato sauce, you can use canned tomato sauce if you want, and about a handful of cilantro. What I like to do in this type of recipe is I just like to cut it into little round circles like this. That way the slices are large enough that if they have a little extra bite in them, Terry and mom can kind of take it out of the way and they don't have to actually bite the chili pepper. I'm gonna cut up my cilantro so we can have it ready. And you don't have to chop it up too fine. Cilantro's good just like that. For this particular recipe, I like these long slices this way. And I'm only gonna take about half of this onion here. And just like the tomatoes for this particular dish, I like these nice, long, thin onion slices. Just like this. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of oil in here. And we're gonna drop our onions. Whoo, baby, that's what I wanna hear. You want to stir fry that a little bit. I'm going to put my jalapenos in here. So you want to just let them heat up a little bit and let the carbon steel frying pan and the oil do their magical thing. Okay, things are looking good here. Now we're going to cook these veggies with the meat for a little while, so you don't want to overcook them. They're just to where they're soft right now, and the onion is starting to get a little bit translucent, so it's time to add the garlic. And if you pick up a little bit of cilantro along the way, it's okay. Now another thing that a lot of cooks like to do, they like to grind up the fresh garlic and the cumin and the peppercorns. In my case, I like to sear the garlic a little bit, all chopped up like that. I think it gives it some extra flavor when you cook that garlic in the hot oil like this. And right about now I can see that the garlic is starting to get that nice toasty look and they're starting to smell really great. The aroma is fantastic. This is about the time I like to add my tomatoes in here. We want to incorporate everything all together, let the tomatoes get nice and warm, kind of semi halfway cooked. All right, the tomatoes are starting to soften up, they're starting to change color a little bit, they look great. I'm going to add a little pinch of oregano, and I want to drop it right in the middle where the heat is at. I'm also going to drop a little dash of cumin. Oh, that smells great. When you add those spices to a hot pan, Whew, man, it just smells amazing. Okay, everything's looking good here. Time to pour in the tomato sauce. So we're gonna heat this up a little bit. All right, friends, our salsa ranchera, AKA ranchero salsa, are ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and take them off the heat. We don't wanna overcook this. Remember, we're gonna put it back in the pan and let it cook a little bit with that meat so that all the flavors will incorporate together and make an amazing steak ranchero. I wanna take just a minute to say thank you and tell you a little bit about today's sponsor, Made In. You know, we cook a lot at home, way more than we can show you in these videos. And I'm always on the hunt for the best cookware to improve my recipes. Then I came across Made In, did some research, and I was blown away at how great their products are. And the range of products they offer for any cooking needs, including this beautiful eight inch chef knife and this gorgeous little paring knife. Made In designs professional quality products for the home cook, like us. And their kitchenware is actually used in multiple three Michelin star restaurants. You know, a big thing for me is using pans that are safe, non-toxic, and uncoated. And if you feel the same way I do, then Made In's carbon steel collection is for you. This 12 inch carbon steel frying pan is the perfect hybrid between a cast iron pan and a stainless steel cooking pan that heats quickly and evenly, and it's light to maneuver for great fire control. And I'm really excited to use this carbon steel frying pan because as you use it and season it, it will naturally develop a non-stick surface. Now this is especially important for me because because I like to put all my pans to the test over the open fire grills. And this carbon steel collection can take the heat from open fires up to 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm excited to use these pans over the open fires and the grill real soon. 
If you're like me and you want some good, high quality pans, y'all definitely need these pans in your kitchen. Check out the Carbon Steel Collection and Made In's other cookware by using the link in my description. All right, now let's get fired up and start cooking a delicious steak ranchero. All right, we're gonna take a little bit of oil. This is a one pound sirloin steak. We're gonna drop it right into the pan here. I wanna give it a really good sear. We're gonna season it with a little bit of wow. And put that on top there. I'm gonna press down a little bit on it. Get a little bit of heat going there, a little bit of that mired reaction. A lot of cooks like to cut the meat into strips first and then just kind of stir fry it. I like to do it this way because I want that nice char in my steak. I want that mired reaction right up front. Now one of the things I like about this nice big 12 inch carbon steel frying pan is it holds the whole steak in there. We're gonna give it about another minute and let the high heat and the carbon steel pan do their magic. Let's see what this looks like. Oh yeah, baby. That's what I was looking for, a beautiful char like that. We want that nice, good charred flavor on our steak. Now we need to wow that steak a little bit more on the other side. This is smelling so good. If you've never smelled that mired reaction char on a steak, friend, you need to try that one of these days. I mean, when you smell that, it's like, oh man. It's different than the barbecue aroma. It's, they're both great, but this is different. It just smells so good. Whenever you have beef searing on a hot pan, it smells so good. All right, let's move it around a little bit. All right, friends, we should have a nice char on the other side. I'm gonna turn down the heat, take my steak out, put it on the cutting board. I'm gonna pour my salsa ranchera in here. Okay, while this is warming up again, we're gonna cut up our steak. We're gonna slice it across this way, make some nice long strips. And so that they're kind of nice and even, I'm gonna cut off this little piece over here. Set that aside the other way and we're gonna slice that too. All right, y'all see this is nice and medium. I'm gonna put it back in the pan, finish cooking it with our salsa ranchera. Maybe I'll take a bite first. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, we're gonna take all this delicious, yummy beef here. Just gonna give it a little stir and let it finish cooking with the salsa. We're gonna drop a little bit of cilantro in here. Now, if cilantro is not your flavor, you don't have to use it, you can leave it out. And when I make steak ranchero, I like to use sirloin or fajitas uh, or skirt steaks like fajitas or even ribeyes or New York strip. You can use any cut of meat you like, but I prefer to use these kind of meats instead of chuck because they cook really quick and you don't have to cook it for a long time. They're done literally in 10 minutes. All right, friend, it looks and smells amazing. Beautiful. All right, let's get some of this steak ranchero on our plate here. I'm gonna get a little extra salsa ranchera and put it right over my steaks here. Whoo, boy, if you guys could smell what's going on today. It's fantastic. All right, friends, we have a big serving of steak ranchero. Very traditional is also some rice and some fresh homemade pinto beans. This is gonna be delicious. I'm gonna take a bite. Got my fork. Take my piece of meat here along with some of that salsa ranchera. And I gotta give me a jalapeno in here. Only thing I'm missing right now is a squeeze of lime. That's another option you can use. I don't need it today. This is just super good just by itself. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I gotta give me some of these delicious fresh homemade beans. Mm. Terry's favorite beans are my favorite beans. And the rice, most excellent, especially if you add a little bit of bean juice. Mm -hmm. But really, the star of the show today is the steak ranchero. I'm gonna take another piece of my Mexican spoon, take another bite. Mmm, 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 mmm. Man, oh man. All right, friends, I had me a couple of really delicious bites of the steak ranchero. Highly recommend you use sirloin or some kind of steak that cooks quick so that it can get done really quick. This is a 10, 20 minute dish all together from start to finish. 
Friends, I highly recommend you give it a try. It is delicious. I'm gonna wrap it up because Terry's sitting over there salivating. She's hungry too. We're gonna both enjoy this delicious steak ranchero dish. So friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. We had a blast making it for you. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any videos from Arnie Tags. So if you would like to get some of our APC Wow, our OG, or our brand new brisket rub, you can get them at pitmaster.us. If you want to up your barbecue game, go to pitmasterclass.us. Hit the link in the description, and we'll see you there. Thanks for watching, folks. Keep smoke light. Make it work, and boom! <laughs> All right, friends, here we go. We have our tomatoes, our cilantro, our garlic, our jalapeno peppers, and the onions, which are making me cry like a baby. Ooh, I love that sizzle. This is kind of a weird shaped onion. It's like an onion on top of an onion. Kind of got the half for free. One of my fans said that my dance, need, that my pit dance needed a little work, that I should try a moon dance. So let's try that. I can't moon dance worth the crap. Sorry. <laughs> we'll stick to the pit dance. Woo! Mm -mm 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 -mm.